Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Live, right? A Friendly Tea Friday. How is everybody doing today? I'm just like glancing down at the cards I have to share with you guys later. And they are gorgeous. Oh my gosh, not like, okay, I'm not like trying to like pat myself on the back here either because honestly, they're gorgeous because of the beautiful products that we have to play with. And I'm so excited to share them with you. So. We are gonna start with this Encircled in Warmth stamp set. This is what we're gonna play with today. And so I'll share this stamp set with you guys because they've got some beautiful sentiments um, in here like wishing you love, joy, and happiness this coming year. Hi, Philomena. Um, let it snow, that's a super cute one with the little snowflakes on it. Warm Christmas wishes. This one says, um, you warm my heart. And I love that font too, isn't that cool? And then the last one says joyful season. And then it's got some pretty kind of floral imagery on there too. So awesome stamp set. And then what I'm really loving, so stamp set is great, right? But we played with some beautiful paper and I cannot wait to share those cards with you guys. So there's kind of um, some metallic paper that we played with and then a couple of packages of designer series paper. So I think you guys are really gonna love these cards and I'm very, very excited excited to share them with you today. So we'll do that in a little while. In the meantime, what else do we have going on? Oh, well, quick reminder, and Philomena, thank you for sharing the video already. I appreciate that. So keep sharing all throughout the Facebook Live and all throughout um, the next week, coming week, right? Um, share that Facebook Live video. Hey, Deb, hey, thanks for hanging out with me this morning. So, okay, we have, this is today. Today, Friday, September 24th, is the last day to RSVP for the Sweet Stockings class to go. So if you're interested in getting these four super cute cards um, in my class to go kit, today's the last day to RSVP. So you guys know we always make four cards in my class to go and then you get all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards. So you end up with eight cards total. <clears throat> You also get the PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step step how to put the cards together, right? Um, and what else you get? So depending on which option you get, you can get the um, bundle, the Sweet Stockings bundle. You get the decorative, the matte decorative dots. You get pool party striped ribbon. You get a free celebration choice with option number one. And actually you get a quarter pack of the designer series paper, the Sweet Stockings designer series paper. And that is also free with option number one. So option number one is $84. Then option number two is if you already have the bundle, the Sweet Stockings bundle. I'm sorry, I keep looking over at my notes. Um, don't get Get, um, option number two if you don't have the bundle because you need to do your own stamping and die cutting but you get the ribbon you get the designer series paper quarter pack and you get a full bolt or a full bolt of the ribbon and then a full package of the matte decorative dots also so option number two is $32 and both of those kits can be picked up out on the porch or you can have them shipped to you for an additional nine dollars then option number three is the PDF tutorial that just tells you how to put these cards together they're probably like all upside down too <laughs> I'll flash them up real quick at the end. I can see this one's totally upside down. Um, yeah, option number three, PDF tutorial, always available even after the RSVP deadline today passes. My downline always gets those um, PDF tutorials for free. And then option number four is make and takes for my downline also. They're just $12 for my current um, Inkspired Stampers members to get all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards. So I'll flash these cards. I'm going to make sure they're, because they're so cute and fun and just, oh my gosh, I loved playing with all of there. That one's going to go that way right there. And then here is the last one. And we did, okay, that's like got a little bit of blur on it there. Um, <clears throat> we did some stamping on the inside and die cutting too. So lots and lots of fun with those um, cards. So let me know if you're interested. Like I said, today is the last day to sign up for that class to go kit. Okay. So love to have you participate in that. And then actually I wanted to make a quick announcement because um, typically my simple beautiful card class that I hold locally here in Alma is the second Friday of every month. Um, but I'm actually gonna move it to the third Friday of the month in October. So it's gonna be on Friday, October 15th from 1 to 3 p.m., okay? So instead of the October 8th, it's gonna be October 15th 
uh, Friday, October 15th from 1 to 3 p.m. So that's a local class that I do. I don't have a good way of offering that online because we use like four different, at least four different stamp sets and a bunch of different products. So there's just no good way to offer that. You'd, you'd have to buy like four stamp sets <laughs> basically to do that class. So there's really, like I said, not a good way to do that one to go, unfortunately, because I do have people asking about that. So, but that's why I do the other class to go kits that always just feature one stamp set or bundle so that then you only need to get one stamp set or bundle and not four different ones, right? So, um, okay, let's go ahead. I think we can just go ahead and do our first drawing right now for the pearls, the beautiful pearls. Perfect time of year to get a package of pearls as we're starting to think about there, that glare. It's so sunny here today though, cannot complain, because we have like had the world's worst weather for the past three days. It has been winter here in Michigan, which, oh my gosh, I'm so not ready for that. I'm actually in a short sleeve shirt today because I'm hoping the sun is gonna make me feel warmer. Because <laughs> seriously, I wanted to put my winter coat on yesterday. It was so darn cold and dreary and ugly. <laughs> so thank goodness that has passed us. So yeah, pearls, let's play with some pearls. Your name, look at that, that's so bad there. Now I can finally get that into view. Your name is right here in the basket to be drawn for the pearls. If you, one, right, share the Facebook Live video, or if you have not signed up for my email list and you just did that, your name is in here also. So, okay, we're gonna shake these around. You guys are all doing well today, right? Yes, beautiful Friday. I think it's supposed to be a pretty good weekend too. Last weekend was absolutely gorgeous, right? So, okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see the winner of the pearls. They're like kind of stuck together, so I just have to flip them around so that I only get one because I'm always afraid of pulling more than one name up. Miss Susan Pacheco, congratulations, Susan. There we go, now it's in view. It's like hard to get that in view. So Susan, you are the proud new owner of a package of the pearls, the pearl basic jewels. So Susan, I will get these pearls sent out to you. All right, I gotta dump those out and put the names in for the next drawing. Okay, so on our next Facebook Live, which I will um, mention now and I'll mention it again. <laughs> happy sunny day. Yes, Lori, I know, happy sunny day. I was just talking about that, right? How bad the weather has been here. So very sweet, Philomena. I always love you guys. are so sweet with your congratulations to others too. Um, and Philomena, your name is in there every week too, I think, right? Because I think pretty much every week you share that Facebook Live video. So yes, I remember writing your name on there too. So, okay, so on our next Facebook Live, oh, which I'm already off on my tangent, right? Next Facebook Live is gonna be two weeks from today. I honestly have no idea what that date even is because I've really barely even flipped the calendar. Actually, I could figure it out. Um, okay, so let me think, because next Friday is the first, so it'll be the 8th. So Friday, October 8th is going to be our next Facebook Live, because next Friday, and actually all week long, um, Alma High School has their, thank you Deb for sharing, has their homecoming week all week long. And then Friday is the homecoming assembly and the parade and then the football game. And Lily actually made it onto the homecoming court. So it's kind of even more special um, for her. Obviously she's super excited about all that. Um, but I wanna make sure to be able to get to the, um, to the um, assembly that they have. Cause I haven't ever, I don't think they, they probably didn't even have one last year for Cade last year either. But um, so anyway, so I'm, I want to just be able to be there for her and help her out and get her ready for the um, parade and the game and, and all of that fun stuff. So anyway, so no Facebook Live next Friday. We will do it the following Friday on October 8th. So no, no Facebook Live on October 1st. But in the meantime, your name could go in the drawing anytime between now and like Wednesday, October 6th, I guess it would be, to win these super fun, these are, what are they called? The Cute Stars Adhesive Backed Sequins. So they're a fun package of sequins, kind of um, Halloween theme, right? In a pumpkin pie, Highland Heather, and basic black. So basically orange, purple, and black. Some very um, traditional Halloween looking colors there, right? Oh my gosh. With the sun, um, I don't even, I always, don't know how to explain it, right? But the sun's lower, it feels like. I think the earth is like tilted or something. So anyway, 
It's like from fall, winter, and spring, the um, the sun comes in at a weird angle, and it makes it super glary in here. But so anyway, so yes, we are going to be drawing for these cute star adhesive back sequins on our next Facebook Live. If you share the Facebook Live video or sign up for my email list, so make sure you do that, and you could win some fun little. And they, like I said, they have adhesive like little um, glue dots on the back of them, so they're super easy to work with too. So yes, fun, fun stuff. Okay. So let's see, um, what else do I want to tell you guys left? Oh, okay, so well, you guys know, right? Celebration has been going on for all of August and all of September. We have one week left of celebration, that's it. Then there's no more um, free stuff with a $50 order. So I'm hearing weird noises out there. I wanna make sure you guys have gotten everything that you wanted out of the celebration brochure right this little brochure right here you get items free with a $50 order and free with a $100 order you guys are many of you are very familiar with them yes the different colored um, sequins they are fun aren't they miss deb um so make sure that you've gotten everything that you wanted out of this catalog because you have one more week so next week thursday september 30th is the last day to get free items with your 50 or 100 dollars order so think of right if you have any um holiday gift giving that you want to do, holiday card making, maybe even some cute little Halloween tags. I'm gonna share some fun little tags with you um, in just a few minutes. Um, you could make cute little um, gifty items. If you're hosting Thanksgiving, put them on the little place settings for everybody. Um, so many good ideas of fun, crafty things that you can do right now. So put your order in anytime between now and September 30th, next Thursday, and then you get free, oops, we'll put it this way, right? Free celebration stuff too. So awesome time to be shopping if you think you have everything that you need to do all those projects you probably still need basics like adhesive or cardstock or envelopes so stock up even on the basics and again get free stuff during <laughs> I keep flipping it's like all over the place get free stuff during celebration and I will tell you guys too I um had a sales goal and our Stampin' Up! year ends on September 30th, so next Thursday also. And I'm a little bit short of my, well, not a little, a lot bit short of my sales goal. So I still need like $1,800 more in sales within a week, which is completely unheard of for me. But I just thought I would throw it out there and say anybody, um, that obviously puts that online order in of at least $30 is gonna get their name in the drawing. And I actually, I'm gonna share this with you guys right now. I actually have three of these In Your Words stamp sets that I would give away on our next Facebook Live if you put an online order in and help me reach that goal, get to my last $1,800 in sales that I need. If we do that, I'm gonna give away, like I said, I've got all, I've got three of these stamp sets right here that I will give away. I will share these um, sentiments because they're kind of fun um, sentiments. So we've got, and I have to turn it this way because I cannot read these backwards, but the first one says, perhaps the stars are openings where our loved ones shine down to let us know they are happy, which that is an awesome sentiment, right? I love the idea of that, right? Um, be who you were born to be. That's another very cool one, right? Um, sending this card for no particular reason. What a fun sentiment, right? Why not? Just to say, hey, I love you. I miss you. I was thinking of you. Um, I see you and you are wonderful. That's another great one, right? There is magic in every beginning. That's another awesome sentiment. Hope this card makes you smile. Hi, Rosemary. How are you? Welcome. Thanks for hanging out with me this morning. I hope you're good. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Your birthday came, your birthday went. Here's the card I should have sent. That's a fun one, right? Life is full of ups and downs. Hold on tight. Um, hope your day is fantabulistic. Fabulous and fantastic all in one. <laughs> That's cute too. And then a happy birthday. So isn't this an awesome, this, I believe this stamp set was the one that was created um, by demonstrators. Um, so any demonstrator could kind of suggest some kind of um, a sentiment, things that we would like to say, but have never said maybe in a stamp set before. And so we have the in your words, in our demonstrator words stamp set. So again, if you guys are so inclined, which I know a lot of you watch and maybe think, oh, maybe I could order. Um, now's the time to do it. Help me reach my goal. I need another $1,800 in sales, which is like 
crazy. I mean, I don't even know if that's possible, but I thought, let me just throw it out there and see. So I have three stamp sets to give away. If you guys help me reach that last goal of my final $1,800 in sales, I will give away all three of these stamp sets on our next Facebook Live. You just need a minimum $30 order, but why would you only spend $30? Spend 50 and get your free celebration choice, and then you could get your name in the drawing to win one of these three stamp sets also, okay? Yes, oh my goodness. Okay, so, um, oh, I'll give you the host code too. When I flip the camera down, the host code's always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com also, okay? All right, um, let's see, let's see. Oh, I wanna show you guys. So I did, I definitely jumped around a little bit there, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, <laughs> I'm like way off track. Now I'm trying to find where I am again. Okay, oh yeah, so let me show you, I wanna show you the cute make and takes that we had. So we had our team meeting, our Inspired Stampers meeting this week on Tuesday. That's always the third Tuesday of every month. If you're so inclined to get the starter kit, that's another awesome deal right now. Also last week, last seven days to get the starter kit special where you get to pick $125 in product, you get to pick from one of 12 bundles out of the holiday catalog, and you pay only $99 plus sales tax. I have calculated if you pick the most expensive bundle, pay tax and shipping on that, plus the tax and shipping on your $125 in product, and you pay only $99 plus sales tax, you're getting like $110 for free. So it's like 50% off right now. More than, more than 50% off right now. So it's such an awesome deal. Get that starter kit, become an Inkspired Stamper. You can come to our team meetings if you can't make it to our meetings. We do Facebook Lives. Um, we have lots of fun on there. It's kind of just a good, um, uplifting, spirited group of ladies that all love to hang out together. So I'm going to show you the make and takes that we made at our meeting. You actually, um, for being an Inspired Stamper member, you can get the make and takes mailed to you each month also. So if you're not local, I put kits together and send them out to you. Again, I can't do the stamping, so I tell you what stamp set and ink you need, but I give you all the other parts and pieces, and then we show you how to put them together at the meeting that night. So these were cute little um, Halloween tags. The idea being um, stamp or um, cards maybe, you know, some people will send um, Halloween cards or give Halloween cards, but pretty much everyone loves like candy and treats, right? Or maybe an apple if you're super healthy, right? Um, so why not make cute little tags to go with your candy or your treats, right? So I'm gonna show you guys because I just thought these were so cute and fun. So there's this one right here and it's, um, so what does it say? Treat yourself and we use some of the little stars right there. Those are the thing that I'm gonna give away on our next Facebook Live. And then this just opens up like this, right? So that goes there, that goes there. So you just flip these open and you could write a little sentiment inside there. So there's one of the little tags that we made. This one says, hey boo, with this cute bats. I still hate bats. You guys, oh my gosh, I can use that word uh, about bats too. That's not really a very nice word, but I really, really very much dislike bats. Here's another hey boo with those cute little, um, what are those? What are those called? Those are called ghosts. <laughs> and we stamped on the inside. We used that um, cutest Halloween stamp set also. And then here's another treat yourself with those little skeleton heads and more candy corns, which are still my favorite this time of year. Okay, so we made those four tags and then we made four more tags i'll show you guys these up close too so we've got this one that says you put a smile on my face isn't that cute right and then we've got another one right here hey boo with that cute little ghost so you can see how fun these were right and then um you put a smile on my face again and then here's the last one trick or treat so you can see how we featured too um that super cute cutest Halloween stamp set, right? So we did, it was a little bit crazy too. I have to tell you guys all the stamping with all, we, I don't know, I think we had about 20 different stamps out. So, but we got it done. But so obviously this is a really good representation of that stamp set too, right? With all the cute little critters um, that are on there, right? The ghost, the pumpkin, the kitty cat, and then the um, skeleton. I'm trying not to, I'm trying to move my finger. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see the skeleton. Yeah, so we did some coloring, some stamping. Anyway, so super cute little stamp set, cute little tags, right? You could write on the back of the little tag here too, put that with your little treat. So um, I think we all enjoyed those, had lots of fun with those little make and takes this month. So, and every month we do, generally it's cards, but I thought it'd be fun to do um, some little tags kind of for Halloween time. And then the other fun thing that I like to do is for 
Anyone that sells over $600 in a month, they go into what I call the $600 club and they get a free embellishment from me. And this month I gave away a bolt of the black and white gingham ribbon to anybody that made it into the $600 club. The reason why I like to highlight that $600 mark is um, because when you have more than $600 in sales in a month, you actually get additional commission. So generally we earn either 20 or 25% if you're at Bronze Elite commission or discount off of our orders, right? When you get to more than $600 in a month in sales, you actually earn additional commission or what they call volume rebate. Um, so I like to highlight that and make sure everybody knows that like, hey, if you're close, if you're like $550 in orders, you might as well get a, um, try to put a, another $50 order in because you're gonna get free money back, free commission money back from Stampin' Up! too. So I like to reward people that have gotten into um, the $600 club with fun prizes like this black and white gingham ribbon that I'm pretty sure is on back order. We've been loving this ribbon. And this ribbon is great too. I've been pointing out um, you know, it's great for Halloween, but I think it's also awesome like for your fall projects. I've seen lots of cute things done on like with fall colors too in the black and white. And then Christmas obviously too, like red, white, and black. Super fun. Hey Anna, hello. Catching you. Yes, catching us live again. Thank you. I'm glad you can hang out with us today. So yeah, so we always, I just love to like spoil my team members too. So with the make and takes, with the $600 club prize, I'm always giving lots of goodies away too for recognition also. So if you have any questions about the starter kit or becoming a member of our Inkspired Stampers team, please let me know. I would love to give you whatever information you need and help you make an informed decision. Um, but 10, not 10, seven days, one week left to get that starter kit also. So, okay, so let me know if you have any questions on that. All right, <clears throat> gotta check my notes again. I think we are ready to do our next drawing. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Okay, good. So, um, yeah, we're ready. I'm like, wait a minute, did I miss? I'm looking around at my little piles of things. Oh, I know what I forgot to show. Actually, no, we're not quite ready. I wanna show you guys the um, swaps that everybody made. And honestly, we did this so quickly that I didn't even get to learn who made most of these. So I apologize. Um, if you're watching, if any of my Inkspired Stamper team members are on here, you can claim your card and let us know that it was your card. But I just wanna show you the beautiful work that our team members do. Um, so it's a great thing, the swapping also. So basically what I do is I tell um, anybody that comes to the meeting, or again, if you're long distance, you can make the swaps and mail them into me. I trade them, swap them around for you at the meeting, and then I mail them back to you. So. Um, we usually make between eight and 10 swap cards each month. Um, and so I wanna show you guys, these are the swap cards that were made this month. Um, and this one, again, features that sweet stockings, um, the designer series paper. I love all the detail that she did too. And then there's that um, pool party and white striped ribbon with that little Santa paws is coming to town. So that one's super cute, right? And then we have this snowman, beautiful, right? Christmas wishes and joyful greetings. Isn't that beautiful too? And then all the detail and coloring that she did on that. I really wish I knew who made each of these, you guys. I'm gonna like kind of drive myself crazy here. Okay, and here's a fun um, cat Halloween one. Isn't that fun too? And th that almost looks like a bat. Isn't that funny? I think I'm like still kind of hooked on bat ideas. <laughs> this is another cute one. I've seen this idea done before with the ripped paper and then you sponge the edges and it makes it look like a mummy with those little eyeballs. That one is super cute too. This one is beautiful, isn't it? Um, I should pull it out of a little clear envelope. There we go. Yeah, you can see it a little bit better there, but this thinking of you card is just gorgeous, isn't it? And then again with that, and I haven't done this in a while, but ripping the cardstock and then um, adding um, uh, it was like sponging along the edges just makes it look kind of worn or rough or something. It's beautiful though, isn't it? Yes. Okay, and then here's the last one. And actually Sunday, I know she made this card because she demonstrated. This one is called a side step card. So you can see how, and it's actually, the kind of crazy thing is if you were to fold this the other way, it truly is like a like a half a sheet of cardstock like we would normally use but can you see there's that step so the side step card 
But isn't that, look at, isn't that so cute? <laughs> I love that one. And she gave us instructions too. She showed us how to do it. And then she gave us instructions so that we can all make them at home on our own also. So lots of great sharing in our group too. So again, if you're interested in getting that starter kit, I'd love to help you do that and become a member of our group as well. Okay, now I think we are ready. We're gonna do our next drawing. I gotta like clear things out here a little bit. I have too much on my table here. Let's move this stuff over here too. Okay, there. All right, I think I'm better now. Um, so, okay. <laughs> yes, I love that fold too, Philomena. I might have to try that one of these times. That's been my, my fun new thing. When I get cute cards like that from people, I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna make one like that too. So that's been fun um, inspiration for me also. So thank you for sending um, and sharing cards um, with different fun, unique folds and things too. That's been fun to play with though. So, okay. So now if, especially if you haven't watched Facebook Live before, I wanna make sure everybody knows, right? When you put an online order in through me, you get the projects I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live. So for example, on our last Facebook Live, this was one of our cards, this Friends Forever. I think it's called a bridge card maybe. And then this was the um, duplication of a birthday card that Sharon Greening sent to me. Um, I didn't bring that one over, but this is the card that we made that was very similar, showing the front and back. That's the fun part, right? Showing the front and back of the designer series paper. So. If you put an online order in through me and spent at least $30, you're gonna get both of these cards in the mail as a thank you from me, which I truly appreciate every single order, right? If you bumped your order up to $50, you got to pick from either the September Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the free embellishment, which are the, these are called the brushed metallic adhesive back dots. And your name is also in the drawing right now to win the sheep dies, um, which, so let me show you, because they're just so cute. They're so cute. I think you could have so much fun. Even if you didn't get the stamp set, I think you could still have fun just with the dies. So with the sheep dies right there, that's what we're going to give away right now. So your name is in here if you put an online order in. Um, just at least $30. But again, why wouldn't you spend $50 and get your free embellishment as well? Okay, so... Make sure we have one one ticket here and the winner is miss kathy hilliard all right congratulations kathy you are the proud new owner of the sheep dies so i will get those sent out to you okay i'm gonna scoot those out of the way okay so like i said before where did i move all those stamp sets we are going to give away on our next facebook live i have three of the in your words stamp sets so this is what we're going to give away Put your online order in of at least $30. Your name goes in the drawing to win one of three of these stamp sets. If you guys help me meet that goal of the $1,800 in sales that I need, if we don't meet it, it's okay. That's all right. We will give away one of these stamp sets, okay? So between one and three stamp sets, we will give away on our next Facebook Live on, what did I say? Friday, October 8th it will be, okay? So I'll give you the host code in just a sec when we flip the camera down. And yeah. I think that's it. I think we're ready to flip the camera down, okay? So let's do that so you guys can see the host code. Like I said, it's also always on my blog. I keep thinking I missed something, but as I'm looking at the table, I feel like I talked about most everything that was here. Okay, so turn your heads away. We are flying through the air. Um, we will get ourselves situated here. There's gonna be a glare too, so I think I'm gonna have to like move the table a little bit. Yeah, look at that. There's our host code. Okay, so you guys can jot that down if you need to. All right, hold on. There we go. <laughs> I'm always like dragging the table a little bit, right? Okay, let me get a quick sip of water. Mm. <laughs> Making funny noises as I'm slurping my water. That's kind of embarrassing. I'm gonna put my glasses on too, just in case I need those. Okay, so let's see. Grab my grid paper too. Yeah, I think we're good. I keep looking like feeling like I missed something, but okay. All right, and I'm freezing. I need to put a more like more than a short sleeve shirt on. It's not short sleeve. Isn't that crazy though? Wasn't it just last week? We were so warm. Okay, I think we're in view now. All right, so 
Ladies, again, we are going to play with this Encircled in Warmth stamp set. Awesome sentiments, cute fonts too, right? I love this one especially. And I didn't even use that one on these cards. But okay, which card do we want to do first? Do, 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 do. I think, yeah, it's this one. Okay, so here's our first card. Thank you for sharing, Debbie. Okay, so we have lots of beautiful um, metallics on here, right? We've got some gold ribbon. We've got some of the brushed metallic cardstock in the gold. And then look at the beautiful designer series paper, right? And then on the inside, we just did a little bit of stamping. Okay, so let me show you because I was so, um, some of these things, you know, you get um, some things and they kind of sit, at least they sit in my craft room because it's hard to use everything all at once, right? But this is the brushed metallic card stock. So I want to show you guys this. It's very loud, isn't it? Okay. I'm just going to pull it all out so you guys can see. Okay. So it comes in, and I don't know the names. I, I don't know. Gold, copper, and bronze maybe. But can you guys kind of see? There. Those are the same, right? So you get two sheets of each. So there we go. You guys kind of see them there? It's weird how this one looks different, but I think it's just... um the light, or maybe it's the, the grain. There, there is like a grain to it where it kind of goes there. Now it's all going the same way, but isn't that beautiful? Look at all of the gorgeous shimmeriness. So we use this gold paper, but again, you get two sheets of each of those, gold, copper, and bronze, or something like that, right? Okay, so yeah, the paper is gorgeous. And then let me share with you, this is the Simply Elegant Designer Series paper. We're just gonna pull it all out again because I just want to show you guys all of it. And this is actually in the annual catalog. This is one that I would definitely say I've had in my craft room for a while. And maybe because it felt a little bit more um, wintry, I might say. So this is the pattern that we used. I couldn't, it was like I couldn't use it for a while when I ordered it in the summertime. It wasn't speaking to me. Like now it feels much more time appropriate, right? And here's another one. You guys can see that beautiful pattern. See, this is all um, kind of gold shimmery on one side and then kind of a matte. I love that pattern too. Definitely gonna have to play with that also, right? And then isn't this beautiful? And again, so you can see how well it works with that brushed metallic cardstock too, because here's some of that copper, beautiful copper, right? And then I'll flip it over and you guys can see some more just kind of like a muted black and white tones on the other side. This one's really pretty too. This one didn't catch my eye when I was looking at it the other night either, but that is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, beautiful. And then some more kind of just subtle back and white on the black and white. And then this one is more of like a basic gray and gold. That's a cool color combination too, right? And then more, this would be great for masculine cards, right? Well, I always need those kind of boring masculine cards too, huh, right? And then here's one more pattern. Ooh, that's super pretty. I like that pattern a lot too. And then this is again, the one that we used. Oh, I love that, right? And then the leaves on the back too. So beautiful, beautiful package of designer series paper. So again, the Simply Elegant designer series paper and then the brushed metallic cardstock is what we used on those. Okay, so I was just so excited to share the paper with you guys because I think that really kind of makes the card too. And then of course the ribbon is beautiful also. So, okay, let's go ahead and get started. I'm making this first card. Let me get my things out here. I'm gonna give you some measurements so you know how to make this one. I feel like I'm doing a lot better job this week too, ladies. <laughs> Probably should not have said that though. Oh, I was a hot mess last Friday. I don't know what my problem was, but thank you for bearing with me. And you guys were all super sweet with all of your comments of like, yeah, been there, done that, know how you feel. So <laughs> yeah, so we're, we're just going to hope. I feel like things are rolling along better this week. So we're just going to hope that <laughs> no issues this week, right? Okay, so this is basic gray cardstock. Can you guys see that there? Now we're just in view, aren't we? Okay, so along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches, okay? And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches to make a tall card like that, right? Okay, then on the inside, we have a piece of very vanilla that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? And then our beautiful designer series paper, this 
measures two and a half by five and a quarter. And then we just have some um, scrap pieces. I think this was like a three by three piece of that gold brushed metallic cardstock. And then another piece of very vanilla cardstock to do our stamping and um, die cutting there. Okay, so I think let's go ahead and do that. And we are doing heat embossing too, you guys. We don't do that very often, but I was very excited to be able to do that on these cards today. It's always kind of a, um, oh, kind of a holiday thing, I think, doing the heat embossing. Okay, so let's do that first. Where is my, let's have my verse mark ink. There we go, right here. Okay, so I have just a scrap of very vanilla cardstock. I'm going to, let's make sure we're all ready to go. Yep, I've got my heat tool there also. Okay, yes, the paper is gorgeous, isn't it, Philomena? Okay, so nice, easy tap, tap, tap. You wanna be careful not to get ink around the edges or you're gonna get a ring around your um, stamp there, and you don't want that. So, okay, and we're gonna pour some of our gold um, embossing powder. And I like to just use these little tubs I just scribble on the top of them so I know what color is what. We just add that back in there. Okay, we're gonna close that up so that we don't blow it away while we're using our heat tool. Now I am realizing I probably should have um, used a little bit bigger piece of paper, but since I'm also freezing right now, this heat might not be a bad thing. So you'll see, I love when you kind of see all of a sudden, so it's just powdery and then the heat kind of crystallizes it and it just, it's like this, ooh, can you guys kind of see it happening there? It's like it's muted, it's light, and then it just crystallizes and becomes gorgeous. I'm gonna turn that just a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see it in the light very well. You get just the right, I'm trying to make sure. I probably should have put my glasses on. I think this should be good though. Because if you um, don't heat it enough and then rub your finger on it, it um, will all fall off. It's funny because it's not, um... yeah, okay, there, I saw it. <laughs> can you guys, ah, there, you can see it too. I was looking so much. I, I kept looking at it questioning, like, did it get um, all crystallized? But yes, you can see right there. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, very fun. All right, so we did do that. All right, now we're gonna do our die cutting. Okay, let's get this baby out of the way. That's fine there. Okay, here we go. All right, so we've got this piece and this one, and I'll explain, we are using so just our um, layering circle dies. Let me pull this one out and I'll show you. So this is one, two, three, the third smallest straight edge circle is gonna go right on there. And then this is from, these are the painted label dies. So we're gonna use this kind of swirly curly guy on here, okay? All right, so those look good. Actually, I need to make sure this one is lined up. That looks good there, okay. All right, we are cranking our handle. I'm gonna run that back through because this detailed one, and I did bring my paper piercing tool because this is one that, and I think it's kind of because of that um, thicker metallic cardstock, it doesn't wanna pop out quite as easily, so. And you have to be careful because you want that centerpiece. A lot of times you can just poke that right out, but you actually want that. So let's move this out of the way. And I'll show you. Okay. So we're going to pop these things we don't need. So we're going to pop these out. Okay. Let's just get all these off of here. Oops. There, all right, I think we got them all. Okay, so now, very carefully, we're gonna poke these holes right here to kind of help release this from the die because then, again, very carefully, because you don't wanna rip anything, because this, you want all of those little detailed pieces, you want that intact. Okay, so we're just gonna kind of carefully 
lift this because I think I did rip one. There we go, right? So that's the back side. There's the front side. And you can kind of see the stitching that it did also. So isn't that awesome? Love that. I think that is just beautiful. And it's all the detail too. I think that's what I love about it, right? Okay, so actually, let me grab, I need my scrap piece of paper. I wasn't thinking I was going to need this, but for the bottom of this vanilla piece. We're gonna put this on here. Oh, and then actually also coordinating with the designer series paper is this elegantly said stamp set. It's all part of the suite. So we've got lots of beautiful imagery, right? That you could remember from peeking at that designer series paper that coordinates really well. I wanted to use this stamp right here. I love kind of that um, delicate little lace. I just put that down at the bottom. I thought that would be really pretty. So we're gonna use our basic gray ink. And we're just kind of, kind of carefully ink that up. And then we're going to try to get it straight. And if we don't think it's straight, which that's maybe a little bit crooked, we'll see if I can make one a little bit straighter. If not, we'll pick the best of the two options. I could tell as soon as I like laid that down. This one might be better. Yeah, I think that one's better. There we go. Okay, so isn't that beautiful though? Let me show you that. That detailed lace, gorgeous, huh? Got to play with that stamp set some more too. Haven't played with that one very much. And I'm excited to do that. Okay, so I think we are ready. Are we ready to put things together? I think so. Okay, let's see. Let me grab some adhesive and my little mat. We can scoot that guy out of the way too. I think we're done with that. Okay, so let's just put some adhesive on this and put it on the inside of our card, right? Oops. Ooh, it happened. That hasn't happened to me in a while. Man, I'm not, there we go. I was feeling all like, ooh, I know what I'm doing with this adhesive now. <laughs> Pretty much I do, but I guess every once in a while, I don't flip it back quite right. So it's easiest to just put it back to where there is adhesive and then start running again. So tilt back, I remember the tilt back. And the tilt back. There we go. Okay, so oh, isn't that? Oh, it's just beautiful, that paper. Love these. Very elegant cards, I think, right? Okay, so now we are going to take our gold ribbon and we're just going to tie a pretty bow across the top. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful ribbon and the paper, it all just works so well together. You guys are gonna um, like the other card too, I think. It's another super pretty one. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Gonna cut that little baby off there. Okay, let's trim him down a little bit. I feel like he's a little bit bigger than he needs to be. Let me get all of that. The card's being futzy, or I'm being futzy, one of the two. Not sure. Not sure on that, right? Okay, so there's the bow. Next, we are going to put some adhesive on our sentiment, and we're going to add it to our little scrolly gold piece. Okay, then we're going to put a couple of glue dots, or not glue dots, but um, dimensionals behind our swirly, curly little buddy. Okay, scoot that and that. There's my example, okay. So you guys see, it's really not a difficult card to make at all, right? But it packs a lot of punch with all of like the beautiful um, sparkly gold accents. And then we're gonna add a couple of our, oops, that did not work right at all. <laughs> our gold gilded gems, okay, these are being these are another futzy little thingy here for me today, apparently. Put that one right there. Hi, Diana. Thank you. I'm glad you like that. I think it's pretty beautiful, too. So there we go, the joyful season. And then we just stamped on the inside a little bit there, too. So there we go. Okay, so there's card number one, right? Again, featuring this Encircled in Warmth stamp set. So we plan that with that again on our next card. Okay, so we're gonna scoot those out of the way. All right, let me just get things cleaned up. Um, just a titch here so I don't get confused what I'm doing here later. Okay, so next one. 
similar to what we made, but similar but different, but it's all about that stamp set and the designer series paper and this beautiful ribbon again too. So this one, the fun little let it snow, and then on the inside we use some little snowflakes. So let me show you what paper we used on this one now. Okay, let's see. Let's get this Okay, yes. All right, so for this one, we used, this is the silver foil specialty paper. So that's what that is right there. And it, how many sheets? We get three, three sheets in here. So you get one of each of these silver papers instead of two of each like the other one. Okay, so we used this silver. It's just kind of different shades of silver, but again, it's beautiful, isn't it? This one, I don't know, it's almost a little bit more steely bluey or something. This one's just really deep, but aren't those cool too? Very, ooh, look at all that fun metallic -y ness on there, right? Okay, so again, we use this shade of silver on that piece right there, and then, this time, the Snowflake Designer Series paper. This is part of the Peaceful Place Designer Series paper. And let me see, do I have all of these? There's one more. The adhesive is funny, um, so I'm trying not to like, yeah, because it's getting stuck to my silver foil paper. Okay. So here we go. Let's check out this paper too, because it's beautiful. Okay, this is the pattern that we used. Actually, this one right here. And can you see, because it's a little bit hard to tell, but there's actually some silver foil in there also. It is another pretty paper, isn't it? So in just the right, I don't know if you guys are getting it or not, but that paper does have some little teeny tiny silver stars in it also. Okay, and then there's the back side. I like that gingham pattern there also. So isn't this beautiful though? Look at that, oh my gosh. It looks like something that's actually popped up as my, as like a screensaver <laughs> when I when I turn my computer on. And then there's just kind of hints of gray and white on the back of that one. But again, this one, these stars, yes. Can you see? They're super sparkly. And then here's another one. And this one is meant to actually be cut down into six by six pieces, which is kind of interesting, isn't it? And there's so much um, detail. And it's actually not. I'm like feeling it because it almost looks like there's um, kind of some texture to the paper. It's just, oh my gosh, it's some little silver accents, I think, too, but it's beautiful also. And then backside of that one, some little trees there, too. Okay. And then we have, this is the paper that we used, again, on the card. And there's that gingham on the back. And then this one is kind of cool, isn't it? And this one has quite a bit of texture to it. So it's like tree bark almost, right? Or maybe turn it, maybe turn it that way. I don't know which way works better, right? But very interesting, right? And then here's the backside. Ooh, those trees are super pretty too, aren't they? Yes, oh my gosh. And then here's another kind of a funky pattern. Again, some silver foil. And then, oh, the cabins. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Just love that paper. And then the last one. So this one kind of has a white base and then, oh, those trees. Okay, we could do something really just simple and beautiful with this paper also. And then the back side. Oh, and this almost feels a little textured here too. That's interesting also. So very cool, huh? Another beautiful pack of paper. So I was just super excited to um, use all these beautiful designer series papers along with that encircled and warmth stamp set. Okay, so let me show you, tell you what you need to know to make this card. Let's see, we got this. Nice. All right, so let me give you dimensions for this one, first of all. So this time we start with a, oops, a basic gray card base. Okay, so here's our full sheet of basic gray cardstock. This time along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? To make our, as always, our nice crisp fold on our card, okay? Then we have on the inside, we have a piece of whisper or basic white cardstock that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? 
<laughs> Thank you guys. I'm glad you're enjoying these cards. And then this one right here is a Smoky Slate cardstock that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And as always, I, I always like to make sure to mention that all of the dimensions, all of the products along with item codes, everything that you need to know on how to recreate these cards will be on my blog. I'll upload that this afternoon to Gathering Ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com, okay? So if you're not jotting everything down and you're panicking that you don't know, I promise all those details will be on my blog this afternoon, okay? So here's our designer series paper and this measures three and three quarters by three and three quarters and that's just gonna lay right on there. And then here's our silver foil paper. This one measures two and a half by three and a half and then that's gonna go right there. And then I just have a piece of basic white cardstock to do our stamping and um, embossing, okay? So let's go ahead and do that again. We are gonna grab our Versamark ink. So I used the little Let It Snow sentiment because I thought that was perfect with the little snowy designer series paper. Actually, let's get our silver embossing powder out and ready to go too. Okay, so we're gonna nice easy tap, 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 press straight down, lift straight up. We are going to pour, you guys can see, right? Pour our embossing powder. And if you get somewhere that you don't, because I might have pressed a little bit harder than I need to, you can kind of carefully wipe off any of that excess, because if it stays on there, it will get heated also. And then you'll have like little spots on your sentiment where you don't want them. Okay, so this one should be pretty quick. And usually what happens is once you've used the heat tool, it's heated up just a little bit so it doesn't take quite as long to get hot. There, isn't that funny? It was like I couldn't even see it. It's so fun when you can see it happening and it kind of goes whoosh across the paper and it was almost like I couldn't, I didn't even see it happen. But can you guys see, I'm like so busy looking at it there. You can kind of see, ooh, it's all glittery and beautiful, isn't it? Okay, so then again, let's just grab our little scrap piece. We're gonna stamp on our, oops, that's not our white. We're gonna stamp on our white. You can see we did just a couple of um, snowflakes inside there. So I grabbed my Snowflake Wishes stamp set that is in our annual catalog. You won't find this in the holiday catalog. It's in our annual catalog, carried over from last year. Um, so lots of beautiful snowflake imagery and then awesome sentiments in here too. Okay, so this time we're gonna use Smoky Slate ink and we are just gonna grab I'm gonna stamp a couple of those little snowflakes on there, okay? So simple stamping today. Now we are going to do our die cutting on just that piece right there using, these are the Tasteful Label dies. We're gonna use that little circle with the detail. Okay, come on. So these are all of them. <laughs> this is like, there are a couple of label die sets that I use all the time. You guys know I use this one all the time also. Okay, oops, where did I, I put my um, die cutting machine somewhere else. <laughs> I went to grab it off the chair I normally put it on. It wasn't there. Like, oh no. But then I remembered, I put it on the chair behind me. Okay, so there we go. Lay that right on there. Cranking our handle, here we go. Let's just scoot this right out of the way again. Okay, pop that out. So love the detail on there too. Can you guys see little stitching and scallopy edge? Beautiful. All right, so what else do I wanna show you guys? Let's see, I think, well, we'll kind of just start putting stuff together and I'll show you as we're doing it, right? Okay, so we're gonna add this to the inside, this basic white piece we're gonna add right to the inside of our card, okay? All right, here we go. So we're putting this right inside here. Okay, then we are gonna add our smoky slate piece to the outside of our card, okay? So we have basic gray card base and then smoky slate over top of that. Then we have our beautiful designer series paper. We're gonna add this layer and this one doesn't matter which way 
it should be three and three quarters square. It's funny how one felt a little bit um, like it fit better than the other. And then our silver foil paper. Put this one maybe right about there, we'll say. Now, okay, fun for the fun stuff, right? We have our snowflakes. These are called, yeah, the wonderful snowflakes, and they come in sheets like this. A lot of times they were already perforated out, but this, these are not. They're on this sheet, and you just kind of, and they're pretty sturdy, even though they seem like, you know, you want to be a little bit careful with them, but um, we're just going to pop these right out of here and then we are going to actually let's see how did i do that i'm going to put some adhesive on this little baby right here and we're going to add it to our snowflake and then i'm going to it's not funny like in the light i'm trying to see which way okay so oops let's do it not upside down okay so we're going to do our let it snow right on there okay and then i'm going to put a dimensional right behind that one there. You know what I forgot to do? Ooh, 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 can I still do this? Let's see, the ribbon, like the most beautiful, one of the most beautiful things on here, right, is this ribbon, I got distracted. So this is textured ribbon, it is smoky slate textured ribbon. Can you see, it is, so it's kind of a wide grow grain ribbon, but it is beautiful. I kind of um, get a little intimidated by the wide ribbons, but every once in a while I find a really good use for them. And I think this was my moment of finding a really good use. So this is what I kind of messed up on. Cause there always has to be one thing, right? Oh my gosh. Yes, it is all the shades of gray, aren't they? They are just gorgeous, Philomena. I agree. Okay, so I'm hoping that I've given myself enough to work with. I think I have, okay. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna be all right. Which way do I wanna do this one? We're gonna have to move it a little bit, I think. But let's see. Yeah, so this should have been done before you adhered it onto the card, but that's okay. We're going to make it work. Yep. Okay. I'm going to slide it back down a little bit because I want to have room. Lift this up. So there's always a thing, right? But, <laughs> you know, then there's always that workaround too. It wouldn't be quite so futzy if um, I had not adhered it, but I think we're gonna be all right there, okay? All right, so we're gonna pull that tight. So if you kind of hold those together, um, there, there we go, okay. Let's trim our bow down a little bit, okay? That one goes there and that one goes there. All right, beautiful ribbon. Okay, so here we go. Now we can add our let it snow sentiment right about there, right? And then I was like, okay, I need one more little something. I needed just a little more sparkle. So I grabbed my basic rhinestones and I just started adding a few of these. We're gonna put one right there. We are gonna do, come on, little buddy. I'm trying to get underneath the glue dot. And you know, this is another one of those It's. <laughs> It's so easy to work with these things when you're not on camera. It's just crazy how that happens. And we're gonna grab one more and we're gonna put him maybe right about there. And there we go. So card number two, what do you guys think? Let it snow, isn't it beautiful? Oh my gosh, and then with the um, snowflakes on the inside too. So thank you guys so much for watching. I feel much better <laughs> today than I did last week too, I have to tell you guys. Okay, so once again, quick recap, right? If you are interested in ordering and helping me reach that crazy $1,800 in additional sales that I need to meet my sales goal for the year. Oh, I would love if you guys could help me out with that. So very much appreciate that. If you are interested in doing that, make sure you order online through me using the host code, the QPY. J, B, 6, N, Z. You will get both of these cards as a thank you from me. Your name will go in the drawing. If we meet the sales goal, I'm gonna give away all three of these In Your Words stamp sets, right? If not, we'll give away one. So either way, you've still got a chance of winning the In Your Words stamp set. And you also get a free celebration choice 
if you bump your order up to $50, along with being able to pick from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the Brush to Metallic Dots as my additional thank you to you. So lots of great stuff, lots of ways to say thank you, which I all truly appreciate all of your orders and truly appreciate you hanging out here with me on Facebook Live each week. So thanks guys for watching. I hope you have a great weekend and we'll be back here in two weeks from today. All right, bye everybody. Thank you.